Okay, so now that the engine is mounted in the boat, where it's uh, permanently gonna be, I just gotta figure out where the, uh, the muffler is gonna go, where the water box is gonna go, and where this fuel cell or interim fuel cell is gonna go. Um, I pretty well hooked up all the connectors. So once I have uh, fuel and spark, I should be able to start it up and uh, make sure it runs still. So uh, here's, uh, here's relocating the water box. And then once that's done, I'll move the fuel cell over and then uh, start thinking about where I want this muffler to be. I kept rearranging all the parts, <clears throat> trying to figure out a more efficient way to get this in here. But I figured why fix what's not broken and just put it in exactly the same way it came out of the jet ski. That way I don't have to buy any hoses or unnecessary uh, hose clamps or any of that nonsense. And uh, I figured I'm probably not more efficient than Kawasaki at getting a power plant into a small space. So, this is, uh, this is how the engine's gonna lay out. It's in here pretty tight, even though there's a ton of space. The only thing I have to figure out is how to get the, uh, this mount here over the, uh, the mini jet intake. So, now that it's where it sits, I just need to build a, a jig underneath it and then uh, build it out of aluminum and then tack it to the boat. So next step is to get the fuel cell in here and get the boat fired up just to make sure everything still works. And then uh, I'll start on the, uh, the mounts and then the next thing will be fuel cell and bulkhead. Okay, to get the fuel cell out, as it's still filled with about 10 gallons of fuel, I'm just gonna wrap the, uh, the ratchet strap around it, two of them and then use the, uh, the hook to cinch them together, then crane it out. So here's that. All right, so I'm pretty close to being able to start it. I, uh, I got everything in here, got all the connections connected, got the fuel cell in here, hooked up the, uh, the sending unit, hooked it up to the fuel rail. Uh, everything's kind of loosely connected, so it can only really start it for uh, a few minutes if it even works at all, but uh, hopefully it does motor things. All right, so we're gonna fill it up with oil and then tighten down a few connections and then start it. So right here is where I realized I put about a quart and a half too much oil into the, uh, into the engine. So I was uh, pulling it out with the, uh, the siphon. All right. Uh... Oil is in the uh, the engine now. Everything's hooked up. Time to start it. Hopefully. Actually, the blow valve is not hooked up.
Okay. Well, it does not start. Time to charge. Okay. So the uh, the loud beeping was the ECU telling me that the battery was low. So I hooked up my 2S uh, 12 volt or 11.7 whatever it is volt uh, lipo battery in parallel to the jet ski battery. So hopefully it starts now. So yeah, it ran. Um, now I just have to figure out this cluster F of uh, wires and fuel cell and get this thing actually mounted. Well, it's actually pretty sturdy. I don't know if the piece of wood will hold through uh, jumping it off rock dikes, but. All right, that's, uh, that's the end of this video. The next one I will be more than likely figuring out the wiring harness, the steering situation, and the fuel cell. It works.